the American trotting horse at its very best in the glamorous, prestigious Hamiltonian state. 1968 is the year of a super horse, Neville de Pride. And he and the Hamiltonian have been on a collision course ever since the great Colts swept top harness racing honors as a two-year-old. The day before the Hamiltonian, caretaker Andy Murphy analyzes his fleet but exceedingly eccentric trotter. Well, my opinion of Neville de Pride and two years I've been with him, I've come to the conclusion that he's just a big show-off, a big playful colt. He's, uh, he's high-spirited. He has, once occasionally, a little mean streak in him, but uh, most generally he's just a uh, just playing with you. Uh, once in a while he gets nippy and kicking one thing and another, but uh, just a big show-off. As far as uh, eating habits, He's the same as any other horse. He gets no special feed. Uh, he's a wonderful eater. That's why he looks so good. Maybe I give him a little bit more than uh, other horses get. I don't know, but uh, he just is a wonderful dog, a wonderful eater. Well, on the racetrack, he is a perfect manner colt. Uh, I say most of the time. Once in a while, he gets uh, a little idea in his head. He'd like to take a nip out of some other horse or driver on the track, but. Uh, that's only occasion. He don't, really don't mean it. The winner's circle is something else. Gets up in front of the cameras and, like I say, it hurts. has captured the fancy of race fans everywhere. And today, above all, he's Mr. Box Office himself.